right, welcome. Today we're going to do a minestrone soup. And who knew minestrone had so many parts to it? Uh, I think one of the key things about minestrone soup is the order in which you put the ingredients in. I have them broken down into sections here. Uh, first you start with some, some butter. Let that melt a little bit. We're gonna add some onions. After that sweats a little bit, we're gonna add some, pen, um, some diced prosciutto. I'm going to do tomato paste and we're going to do some garlic. After that goes a little while, I'm going to continue with some other ingredients that you see in front of me here. So, right, we want to be careful not to brown the, the onions. We just want to sweat them without browning. I'm using my new induction cooktop over I mean a uh, cooking surface over here to get those onions going. I don't know if you can hear them over the fan over here. So I'm going to make a, uh, a, a, a bouquet garni here. Now, hope you can see this. I could not find butchered twine, uh, butcher twine, or what do you call it anywhere today, or cheesecloth anywhere today. So I'm going to use this knee high, part of the knee high anyway. I believe should do the same job as that. If I tie it off, this is only 50 cents for a pair at Walmart. And there's my bouquet garni. Alright, so that's smelling nice. Sweating nice without adding. Any color, smelling real good. All right, in go the bacon, or in this instance, pancetta. I keep saying bacon because that's what the recipe called for, but I want to use pancetta. Alright, so now we're going to add um, our, I guess the, the harder vegetables. So that is our turnips, potatoes, again you want to try to get these close to the same size so that they all get, so they all cook at the same, same rate. We're going to close that up. We're going to let that sweat. We're going to put a lid on it. Then when we come back, we're going to add the, um, what do you call it? We're going to add the tomato paste and we're going to add the bones that sweated for a little while. Looking nice in there. They're releasing some of their juices. All right, we're gonna put our garlic in. Again, remember, it's important not to put garlic in too early. The garlic can burn and get bitter. All right. And then we got some tomato paste that needs to go in. Be 
be about two ounces or so. Now we're going to save that because later on I might want it a little thicker. You might want to put that in there. making sure to scrape down the sides as I go here. Alright, then I'm going to add my mixed herbs. Now, there's no true definition for mixed herbs. I chose the mixed herb that was uh, Italian-like, alright? so. And the reason I see people do this, they say it's because you can get a more evenly spread, although we're gonna mix it up so it won't really matter or not, but I think I might turn this down a touch. You can see that that is a real nice color. All right, we're gonna let that sweat a little bit. Add the stock now. I chose vegetable stock because really you could make this a vegetarian meal by not using the bacon. Um, so I don't know what you'd use instead of the bacon for flavoring. Somebody will help me out with that, I'm sure, in the comments. So now we have four cups of vegetable stock that we're gonna we're gonna put right in here. Gonna drip it all over the place while we're doing that. All right. Depending on the consistency of your soup, you know you might want to add some more vegetable stock as we go along here. So, which is a possibility. It doesn't look like a lot, does it? Supposed to be like eight servings right there. All right, we're gonna bring this to the boil, and from there we're gonna start skimming it. So while it's coming to a boil, we're gonna take a little bit so to a boil, and we let it sit there, and we simmer, let it simmer a second, and we boil a minute, and I kind of skimmed off the top, give us some of the impurities from from the top. That's looking quite nice right now. All right, so our next step is going to be we're going to add the bouquet of garni. And we're going to bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so. So let's bring it up a touch. See where we are here. It's a little warm. That's all right. Uh, we're looking good here. Smelling good. All right. So next, we're going to add the cauliflower, the tomatoes. And beans, and we walk. We rinsed off those beans ahead of time. I forgot to mention that part. You don't want all that goop that's left in the bottom. Give it a quick stir. Now it's time to add the pasta. And 
as thick as this looks. I do believe I'm, I'm, at some point I'm going to add in this extra chicken stock that I have on the pea, I mean duck chicken. This extra raw vegetable stock that I have added in right here. But I have to heat it up rather. Once you add the pasta, the pasta is going to soak up. Some of the some of the juices, of course. You can really smell <clears throat> you can really smell the thyme in this uh, bouquet carne in here. I haven't even seasoned any salt and pepper yet. Gonna wait till the end. To do that because depending on which type of chicken stock or vegetable stock you use, they all have different uh, amounts of sodium based built into it, you know. So, what we're gonna do is let this simmer a little while and we'll be, we'll be back to you. All right, so it looks like we're pretty much done here. We're gonna remove the, uh, the bouquet garni, it's this little bad boy right here. And I like to get most of the flavor out of it though. Oh, sure, there's still some good flavor in there. Oh, I fell back in. It's pretty hot. There we go. Alright, so we're done with that. I think for 50 cents, you can't beat that little trick, right? Look at that. All right, so we're gonna do some uh, some fresh ground pepper. A little bit of that. And we're gonna do a little bit of kosher salt. made some fresh uh, Parmesan bread that's sitting up there and let's see what we got here well, it has a very nice flavor all right the next time you see see us you'll see a nice plating of this So there you have it. We have a minestrone soup with some fresh baked bread, uh, a Parmesan something I forget, with uh, accented with a little fresh chopped parsley. Hope you enjoyed the video. And any questions, just leave a nice comment. Thank you.